Welcome back to another episode of Guy Code Girl Code, the show where we break down not only the rules of man, but what are the rules of women. These wonderful ladies and gentlemen are here to give you guidelines, so let's hope you're taking notes. With that being said, let's get into it. Every guy shows off once in a while. New whip, new gear, etc. But there are just some dudes who go way over the top. These dudes put up huge fronts, from how many girls he smashed, to how many stacks he got. But we all know, you ain't about that life. So fellas, rule number 27, don't flex. Don't flex. Now I have mixed feelings about flexing. Cause sometimes it's okay. Like if you bought it, you work for it, go ahead and flex your stuff. But when it comes to the other definition about like lying, like don't be flexing on somebody. Flexing is something that everybody does. It's college, people get the refund checks. Hey. Why every time you make a purchase, everybody nobody? Cause like <laughs> you don't post every goddamn bottle you bought on Instagram. Every time you leave the mall, you got all your pants lined up, flexing, up, leaning over your arm like this here. Like why? Like nobody need to see all that though. Nobody care. Like, just stop. Like who you trying to impress, bro? Just stop. Flexing on Instagram. That's one thing I have an issue with. <laughs> we don't care how much weed you're putting in your skinny blunt. I do not care which new Jordans you just bought. I do not care that you just tore down the Gucci Louis store at Lennox. We do not care. You're flexing for yourself at this point because no one cares. I think I think you can flex at times, bro. But I'm, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. First off, ladies don't flex, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you if you know you like a nigga, bro, why why you bullshitting trying to, you know, give a nigga a cold shoulder, bro? Don't try to flex and act like you be turning up all the time when you really don't. Like you trying to buy bottles in the club, knowing that you just got your taxes or your refund. Do not flex. Do not flex via social media. Do not do not even flex in the literal sense of flexing your muscles. Let it be let it be seen, not don't show off. Just let the attention come to you. Do that shit. <laughs> flex. Don't you think? Nah, I don't. Nah. It's a cardinal rule, don't flex. Nah, bruh. It's a cardinal rule. If you flex, don't flex. And for all my Texas niggas, no plexing. That's the same thing. But oh, don't do not do it, for real, because you will, people will try you. People will try you. You say you live that life, people gonna find out how hard you live that life. It's, it's some shit you just you don't don't flex on your girl, bro. If, you, if you're in a relationship, don't don't flex on her, bro. Don't don't try and act like you be running shit, bro. And, and you know it's not like that, though. It's okay. Don't flex on your stroke because <laughs> you will get called out eventually. Don't flex on your sex game, <laughs> your sex game or your head game because. I mean, you know that it's going to make females curious. That's your plan. You be like, okay, let me boost my sex game up. And she going to fall for it. You know, she going to get curious. This is what y'all thinking in y'all head. She going to get curious and she going to try to test it out. We might test out the head, but if that's bad and it doesn't amount up to what you say that it does, we're going to call you out on it. We'll never fuck with you again. <laughs> oh, flexing. Especially since it's flexing season, everybody just got their income tax check. If you can't afford it on a normal basis and you're buying it thinking like, oh, they mad at me before, they're really gonna be mad now, like I'm gonna be showing off, like, you probably flexing, that's not okay. Like, I just, I'm not into flexing at all. I don't think on any basis it's okay. okay. You ain't rich, you yeah. just got the refund check, don't flex. You gotta pay that money back. Don't flex, so. come on. You still a broke ass nigga just like me. <laughs> <laughs> If you got it, if you have the money for it, if you've been wanting it for a long time, I don't consider it flexing, but it's how you go about showing it off to people. I think, I think flexing is appropriate in moderation. This is why. Because first of all, if you flex, you're going to be called out on it. If you flex, to what degree you flex is what's most important. So, you know what I mean? Everybody wants to reward themselves for working hard. So if I decide to splurge on myself and you know, I take it upon myself to share just some, just a little something. You know what I mean? I see it as a pedestal sometimes. Positive flex. A positive flex. Beneflex. Beneficial flex. Beneflex. That's beautiful. <laughs> but like, if you got like a Gucci belt, being the girl's face, and be like this shit right here, Gucci belt. Show it to the girl. Like, if you got, if you got a Lambo, drive around with that shit all day, all night. Just. <laughs> 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 Don't 
Don't flex on a nigga for the sake of keeping him in your inbox. Like, True. we're going to touch on another topic later entitled Thirst. <laughs> but for now, it, if, if you know you're not fucking with a nigga, don't waste the nigga's time. Because that's flexing. There, 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 there may necessarily be other women out there worth that time. So, for you to be flexing up on a nigga, there's still just a lot of women out here who not. And it won't then there's a negative connotation to that where you're just doing too much and then people are tired. People are overwhelmed with seeing you. Um, like you said, it's better for someone else to compliment you than for you to compliment yourself. So, be seen. Uh, you don't have to vocalize it. Like niggas. Nobody cares about niggas. Stop the flexing. Stop the flexing, bruh. Who the fuck about your bands, bruh? At all, bruh. Like, you done hit some little temporary come up, now you on shine, and it'll be gone in like two weeks. Um, no, don't nobody care, bruh. I know the, the statement, be yourself, is maybe the most cliche statement of all time, but still, be yourself. If you know you ain't about that life, don't be about that really life. Bad. You ain't about that life, okay? Don't talk about <laughs> you smoking tree all the time. We got, this is a subject with them flexing. Smoking tree all the time, always on the loud, always got the pack. Come through, talking about cow put five on it, whip three Washington out your pocket. Like, what are you flexing for, man? Like, if you don't, you got priorities, bruh. Like, you're not out here really about this leisure life, bruh. <laughs> you don't gotta flex for us. Hand you yourself first. Like, get your shit together and then flex your shit that you get together. Keep, keep, keep the midget in your pocket, too, bro. <laughs> Even if it's raining and you got pecs. Oh, shit, that's not gay. Never mind. Well, I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> Leggings. A nice alternative for women. A beautiful thing to look at for men. We're not saying that there's nothing wrong with wearing them, but some females tend to abuse the rules of wearing leggings. So, ladies. Rule th number 33, wear leggings responsibly. Leggings are my favorite bottom, like, so many leggings, like, so many pairs of black leggings, like, 10 pair of black leggings that I need to add some more to, and then that doesn't even count, like, my colored leggings or, like, my printed leggings. I done seen a lot of things that I didn't want to see. That's what I'm going to say about that one. Wear that shit. <laughs> But, but, it is a beautiful thing, don't get me wrong, leggings can be a beautiful thing, but I've seen a lot of things I didn't want to see. I wear leggings, I like leggings. <laughs> I, the only part I see with, that's wrong with wearing leggings is if it's hot as hell outside. Um, because ladies, we all know that that is not healthy for <laughs> our, for our areas. Things just don't mix and match, like. Love handles and leggings. Like, if you built like Spongebob, you don't need to be wearing no leggings, man. Like, Raspy <laughs> shit. Leggings. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I don't wear leggings for Spongebob. I wear leggings as pants. Often. I mean, I don't think anything's wrong with leggings. It depends on how you look. If you got a little poof. But it's it's not not a little. <laughs> the poop. The poop is like an extra airspace. <laughs> too little and too much is just bad. It shouldn't be sagging. You're exactly. <laughs> like, that's so ugly. Like, oh my gosh. Clearly, leggings are worn irresponsibly and responsibly. I mean, they've become such a common piece of women's wardrobes that. They're basically a substitute for pants almost. I know girls who I've known for maybe since I got to college, seen them in jeans like once, twice. Like, I don't know. There's a time for leggings, there's a time to wear actual jeans, pants, make yourself look like uh, business casual, a little more <laughs> formal. Leggings is a powerful weapon in a woman's arsenal. I'm telling you this now, leggings can make the flattest asses look like the fattest asses. It's so deceptive. Uh, people who wear like the wrong underwear when they wear leggings. Cause if you have a panty line, that's unacceptable. That's irresponsible. Having a panty line, irresponsible. Also ladies, when you're wearing leggings, you need to make sure you're wearing the appropriate underwear. I don't want to have to see your panty line. I just think everyone, regardless of your shape, you need to be wearing the appropriate undergarments when you're wearing leggings. 
Okay, about these leggings, ladies. So, you guys need to look out for each other when it comes to leggings. <laughs> because honestly, a nigga's not gonna tell any woman to take off her leggings unless, I mean, unless business is about to be handled, but that's something else. A nigga will watch a bitch in leggings all day. Like, all day. Like, gonna look all every day. time. You, like, you passed by me four times today. Day. On that fifth time, I'm gonna look just as hard as I looked the first time. All day. It, it's, it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a booty frame, them leggings. Like, they just make you look so good. Like, you gotta find I'm the still right looking at your leggings. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, if, yeah. And if you know you sloppy in the thighs, go a little bit thicker on the fabric. <laughs> it'll, it'll really help you out. Hey, man, I don't know. It's like a trend. Like, females, especially at Georgia State, I mean, they wear leggings in any weather. Like, like, right, like white no people that don't wear that don't wear any type of protection from the weather, that's what black females wear. Like, they wear leggings when it's raining. When it's not raining, when it's sunny outside, when it's cold, goddamn, it's a tornado outside, a hurricane, it don't we matter. We still got class. The female tornadoes. got leggings on. I'd be like, they'd be like, oh no, but you know, it's a, they're comfortable. You know, when it's hot outside, you can't really tell. So how you got some pants that you can wear when it's hot and it's cold? <laughs> that just doesn't seem possible. I don't, I don't understand. Like, who, who how, invented how you, this? Yes. What, <laughs> what, why why don't that? men have something like that? It's technology. I don't like wearing pants. Bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know you got some jeans in your closet. I know you got some sweatpants in your closet. Leggings every day, that's not the move. Every day? I can't, nah. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's a nice sight to see, yeah. but damn, every day. I, I've seen it, you know. I, I won't get tired of seeing it, but yeah, every day, though. In the see through leggings? Design your Victoria's Secret. Okay. And I, I personally right don't even, unless. Okay. During the day with a thong on, with the leggings, it's too much for me. Going out though and you got it on, I'm like, okay, you need some room to, you know, let it, let <laughs> it. Yeah. The shape, rock your leggings, like, don't overdo it. But if you look like a bag of socks, then you might just want to like. <laughs> and the thing about it is, if you wear your leggings and expect me not to look at your voluptuous booty, <laughs> and, and for me to actually take you seriously, you, 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 you talking to me? Yeah, like a couple dude. more things coming. Because I'm about to look at your booty. Every time. You're walking past me, walking up the <laughs> stairs. Every time. I'm looking. Every if you don't think I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. Even when he sleep, he looking. <laughs> I, see, I see it in my dreams with my eyes closed. Everybody's type is not made for leggings. Um, you know, thick girls. There's a small border. You know, if you got a small waist, cool. If you don't have a small waist, nah, bruh. One situation where leggings are going to be, you know, appropriate, encouraged. If you're going to be doing a lot of um, grinding, there's going to be some friction between front, rear, um, you know, just a little friction around here. Where are the leggings? That's a very slick surface. It's not going to agitate, you know. I myself, I wear some very crisp denim. I don't want more denim grinding on this denim like just get the leggings provides <laughs> a very slippery smooth surface it's just more sleek it's more comfortable for us leggings accentuate the curves that are already there if you don't have curves don't wear leggings if you have a lot of cellulite don't wear leggings and women you need to realize your legging to panty ratio nobody wants to see that panty line like nobody wants to see your Snoopy panties through your leggings because you decided that you didn't want to wear black. Follow, follow the color scheme. Nude underwear, black underwear. No white underwear under leggings. Black leggings, no. We can see that. And you know, if you got a nice body and you decide to wear a thong, we can see your skin. That's okay. <laughs> you can't wear nothing under it because it gives you a pamper butt. Or Leggings are not, in my opinion, a substitute for jeans. I believe that they're another accessor accessory, you know what I'm saying? So the rule, the first rule that's most important to me is there shouldn't be any air gaps or spaces in your oh, leggings. Yeah. So saggy leggings. That's what I mean. There shouldn't be no sagging in the MC back side pants. Of, of your leggings. So if you can't pull it off and it doesn't caress your curves appropriately, <laughs> then that's just not for you. Also, frequency, because there's there's all types of different designs in leggings right now. So there's a girl that used to catch our eye all the time with these particular pattern of leggings she had, and it, it clicked that I know she's just not collecting this certain 
legging. <laughs> so she has to be reoccurring, you know what I'm saying? Like what, every day, every other day. And it's not a substitute for pants. I'd rather you just wear the same pair of jeans every day than the same pair of leggings. Yeah, just, just be responsible. Know, know how you look, especially the back of you. Cause you can have all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? You can see the panties through the through the leggings. You can see all kind of lumps and shit. I misplaced lumps. Oh, all jiggly. You know what I'm saying? It could be a whole lot of array of shit going on with the back of you that ain't right. We all know people like sex. It's natural. Yet some people have had too many sexual partners. The body count is the amount of people that you have had sex with in your lifetime. Could this sabotage a potential relationship? Does body count come to mind with determining whether or not you want to pursue something more with this person? In other words, does body count really matter? Does body count really matter? In the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't. You know, it, um, it's, it's something, you know, it's, it's a double-edged sword, really, you know? It's like, if you're going to ask, you got you to be prepared for the answer, whatever it may be. Yes. Yes. <laughs> for men and for women. I don't want to marry nobody. Oh, girl, back in high school, back in college, girl, yeah, we did this. Like, no. Body count matters for men and women. Don't no dude want to marry no hoe. Don't no female want to marry no hoe. Like, keep it limited. Leave something to the imagination. Like, you don't need to be sleeping with everybody. It's just not okay at all. Yes. <laughs> it matters. Body count matters. It matters. It matters. <laughs> no, body count does not matter. No. Start over. Let me start over. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. True. But to certain people, it does matter. It's too much of a topic of discussion. No, because she's gonna lie to you anyway. And it doesn't. Yeah. You gonna ask her and it's gonna be it's gonna be three times that, three more than that. I, any any matter of formula you have for that, it don't matter. She gonna lie to you. You gonna lie to her. No, nah, it don't matter. No, body count doesn't matter. Um, because at the end of the day, I really feel like guys flex a lot about the body count things. No, not at all. Because if the person likes you, they gonna be they gonna get with you regardless, whether or not. You got a high body count, low body count. It's like, y'all gonna find a way to make it work if it was meant to be. Nah, no. I think um, nah. at this point in my life, I've um, I've met a lot of people, experienced a lot of things, and I'm way more open-minded to a topic such as that now, where I think that if you're really gonna let something come down to the uh, body count, if that you're gonna let a whole potential relationship, whatever it may be, get ruined because of that, I just don't find it to be that great of a reason. It just doesn't matter that much to me. No. Um, I don't know when everybody got into that whole thing about who you're sleeping with, like knowing, with the public knowing that knowing who you're sleeping with is cool. Like, no, I don't know, back in the day, nobody knew who you were sleeping with. And that was like the right thing to do because private and public were super separate. Like what goes on in your house, that was private. Like what you showed the world was public. Now it's like home is public now. So everybody sees everything. And like no one, letting everybody know who you sleep with is not cool. It's not cool for the simple fact that if you do decide to have sex with a lot of people and your body count is up there, people will judge you. Like according to their own standards. Like, body count matters for yourself. Because you don't want to feel like a hoe. Like, I, I imagine if you mess with a whole bunch of dudes, on the inside you cannot be feeling good about yourself. Mm -hmm. But on opposite, like, it really don't matter to everybody else. Especially, who's asking nowadays? Like, if you ask me, that's just kind of childish. Like, I'm going to do you so good. Like, do you really want to know? No. I'll be my old lady. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't going past five. If you're, if you're 20 or older, you can't have more than five. But see, you actually got eight. So you actually lying because you got to add three to whatever number that you tell me. What That's it called is. flexing. So that, that goes right back to flexing. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? If you just a, a bop or whatever, I mean, you ain't got to tell me. I ain't got to tell you. You know, it's whatever. I disagree. I think it's just like, it's real sexist and it's 
It's not a good thing. But society says that body count works in a man's favor and works against a female. So your stock goes up as a male the more that you take down. And the more that you're taking down as a female, your stock supposedly decreases. And like, I, I don't make the rules. I just <laughs> abide by the rules. And I just live and exist in them. So, um, but ultimately, like, in between a relationship, like a real solid relationship, it shouldn't matter. You know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be as biased, but, you know what I mean? I won't let it deter me. I will think of you differently. I'm going to judge you, and, and you better just not let me know. Because if I find out, then I'm just really... But if, if they don't, that's the only like, thing about not letting somebody know up front. It's worse if you find out from somebody else. Like, whispers are always worse than somebody just coming at you. I can tell if you've been active. Don't. I don't want to know how active. Just leave that up to my imagination. I'll, 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 I'll figure it out. So you're at the club, or you're at a house party. What's your intent of being there besides probably getting some shouties numbers? Duh, twerk. But some men don't know how to approach the girl or even be able to handle all that ass. But don't worry, we got you covered. So here are the rules to receiving twerk. Twerk. There's a twerk. The wall is your best friend. Just like the square on a basketball hoop. You hit that square, it goes in the hoop. The wall is your best friend. You can just stand move, there. but not too much. Like, if you move, like, you need to know what you're doing when you yeah, move. Yeah, if you try to follow her. You gotta be with on rhythm with me. Like, you right. can't be going up and down. Yeah, and I'm going side to side. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. Come on. <laughs> you're on the same page here. Okay, that's enough. Like, <laughs> no more. Stand your ground. I said, you no. absolutely must. First, you get the horse riding stance, and you stand your ground. <laughs> Because you can't, you you got to, you had to ride that thing, son. Because you can't, you can't let you can't let it buckle you. Wait, wait. If you let it buckle you, you lost. Do not form the pack of wolves circle. Like you know, I'm sitting there twerking. You know, I'm into the song. I look up. It's like 15 guys just standing around. And Mario, oh shit, dude. No, it's not cool. Not cool. We get a little intimidated. Like, y'all just standing there, you know, waiting. Like, oh, she done? Is she done? Y'all grabbing my arm and mm -mm, tapping my shoulder. Hey, what's. No. I choose who I want to twerk on. Don't force it. Just let it happen. <laughs> First of all, when you go in the battlefield, you don't go alone. You, like you said, you eye, make sure that your partner is beside you just in case. So you'll never see, you should never see nobody just new to a party that's just twerking, that's getting twerked alone. Thing that I noticed the most is dudes doing too much. Like you have to know your role in this engagement. You feel me? So there's some guys where you have the guys just stand there like a totem pole while the girl's doing all this type of work. Then on the other side of the spectrum, this dude's is doing too much. Like, you shouldn't be moving more than she should. You know what I'm saying? Like, situate yourself appropriately <laughs> and, and receive and, and have a good time. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be a connection for real. It's supposed to be a give and a take a little bit. The number one rule to good twerk is practice, ladies. I'm not talking about practicing at the parties. You need to practice at home in your mirror. Your mirror is not for taking pictures. It's not for looking at yourself is for practicing twerk. I know you've been playing the music. I was playing music earlier cleaning and you practice in between. You know what I'm saying? When you don't feel like um, sweeping no more, you practice. Don't be a little nigga, you know what I'm saying, getting twerk from a big girl because you're not going to survive. You got to go hard in the paint, bro. If you're going to try to pick a bitch up, I don't know why you would, but make sure you know you can actually pick her up before you look stupid and she got down, still got one leg on the floor, ground or something like that. <laughs> Um, like don't be, don't be, don't be that thirsty nigga mobbing around the party, yanking, trying to yank, yank on every bitch from like ten feet away. Like, hey, come here, you, you, you. Like, bro, like, let just go with the flow of the party. Let the twerk find you, so to speak. Like, you gotta, like, you gotta get out there, but let you gotta let it, like, get them, just flow to you. Use her too. You know what I'm saying? If she backing you down, you know you going like this, bro. You better, you know, handle your stuff. You feel me? Like, don't let her push you around. You know what I'm saying? If, especially if you're in the club. There's liquor everywhere. It's slippery, you know what I'm saying? So let her know who's in control of this. You move that ass, and I move my body. That's it. Like, I feel what ladies talking about when it's too aggressive with the hands, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to grab a shorty or, you know what I'm saying? Because for them, 
you know when there's a connection. You catch the eye, if the body, uh, you know what I'm saying, like the body chemistry is right. What I do personally, a light tap will caress on the on the on the waist. You know what I'm saying? Just a light tap of caress on the waist. Now, you have to pay attention to the signals because her body language is gonna give you an answer to your question. You know what I'm saying? So if she gives you an answer to your question, you act accordingly, man. If she ain't feeling it, that don't mean try both hands now. Say, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? Let it go, let it be. You don't have a homie to support you, you know, just just turn the girl around, make her face the wall, but everything cool after that. <laughs> <laughs> If I tell you to put your back on the wall, don't try to turn me around and then we are unstable and you you can't control yourself. You're just wobbling all over the place and I'm wobbling and it's just too much, especially if the party's crowded. I retired from twerking. The studio audience is boom. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the body language, okay. and girls have said they don't like the placement of the hands, blah blah blah. If you feel her hand come back and start to, uh, you know, wander, then that should be a signal to freely use your hands. Incorporate the hands. She gave you the, the hand gesture, you give her the, you know, hand gesture in return. Whoa. But as far as tips on the absolute receiving of the twerk, I myself, I'm a pretty slender individual. I think it all starts with solid foundation. The way you plant your feet, you should be trying to put your feet through the ground. You want to have your feet planted and good flexibility in the hips. Flexibility in the hips and waist area is crucial. And when I talk about foot placement, these very boots that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> I have received twerk in these boots and the soles were separated. I planted my feet hard enough to rip out the insoles of my shoe and it was um, it was supreme twerk. Handled it like a king would have. Strong foundation, good flexibility. You'll win. Shout out to Off camera gap. <laughs> All right. And, uh, as a nigga, if you see, this does not count for any random nigga, okay? You don't got to do this for no random person. If you see your nigga struggling True. to hold that twerk up, True. it is your moral <laughs> obligation as his nigga, his homie, his bruh to hold his ass up, okay? <laughs> he falls down. If he falls down. <laughs> Since I retired from the twerking community, um, I just feel like... <laughs> <society. laughs> yeah, right. I feel like um, you should just stand there. If you don't know how to dance, if you don't have any rhythm, don't try and dance back. Um, don't try and feel all over people in inappropriate ways. Cause like, no, like, no, like why would you do that? Like, I just, I, you're a stranger, don't touch me. 